severe on you, and we didn't know how heavy it would be. He and Brittany, we were out near the roof, and we started slipping further and further down, losing control. First Brittany let go, then I felt like I had no choice. I had to let go. I thought I would fall if I didn't. You know what happened next. We didn't even know the kid fell on you until some people from downstairs started yelling. Man, you were so drunk and shocked, you were unconscious practically immediately. We took you to the hospital and they called your parents from there. We just told them I saw what happened. You. This whole time it was you. Please, man. Shut up! You lied! This whole time it's just been lie after lie! Oh, Mom, I thought we would be friends if I told you. I couldn't bear it! How does someone live with that kind of guilt the rest of their lives? I don't know, I mean... I didn't do anything wrong! You did! This whole time I thought it was fame! I thought God was getting back at me for things that I've done in my life! Why'd you do it? You didn't think anything could happen? No. I thought it would be funny. Come on, man. I'll do whatever you want. Just say something. Please, man. Just talk to me. Come on, dude. Say something. I didn't mean for anything to happen to you. I really didn't. I don't care if you didn't. It did. Now look where I am. Why didn't you tell me the truth? I'm sorry. This is not good enough for me. I have to live with a crippled leg my entire life. Now that you told me the truth, your guilt's gone. You can move on with your life like, like nothing ever happened. Why shouldn't you have to suffer, too? Please, man. Look, I know I don't deserve forgiveness. Damn right you don't! Not my forgiveness, not my sympathy, not anything. Now you try to understand me. Think about my life, my future, my family. You couldn't even tell me the truth. What a friend you are. My dad had to get an extra job because of what you did. All the surgeries, all the medical bills. You don't think that costs money? We almost went bankrupt. Your thick skull couldn't imagine any of that could have happened. My parents ought to sue you for all the money you have. See how much you like that kind of change in your Please, man. They don't tell my parents. I'll sue in the mainland. They'll, they'll make me move with my grandparents. That's what you're afraid of? I want payment. I want pay back. Every dollar you cost us, every second of sadness me or my family had to go through, you should have to, too. It's not enough for you to, for you to just walk away like nothing ever happened. Please, man, don't be a better person. I know what I did was wrong. Don't do the same thing. Be a better person, you understand? Understand? I was alone all that time, thinking how it was somehow my fault. That's the thing, Tony, that's what I've been trying to understand. At least now I don't have to blame myself for a crippled leg. I'm going out there now. I'm gonna tell people about how the perfect kid, everyone's favorite jock, screwed his best friend over. That'll be big news, even if it'll be hard for some people to take.